With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And now here come the Ravens. Right to the air is Jackson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Edwards. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That's a pickup by 11 and a first down on their first defensive play. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody coming. Just stuck out there and he's got this first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 38-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there, good for a Raven first. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable. And sometimes, spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys who trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Nine yards on the first down. Keeper in it's second and one. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option. Quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. On second down, it's Edwards. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Jackson on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. They go play action with Jackson. That is caught for Sean Bateman. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Edwards will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Like what we saw right there, good running down near the goal line because that was a really good drive. They were able to possess the ball, have some early success moving it downfield, and then clearly the most important thing, finishing things off with the ball in the end zone. Oh, 
Tucker with the extra point. And that makes the score 7 0. see James he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25 and now here comes Kansas City Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25 yard line We'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. Call it a pickup of three and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. Fielded just inside the 30. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now it's Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Second down, Jackson. And this will be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. 
They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. And Jackson throwing once more. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Jackson now. No hesitation goes right back to Likely. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. For the tight end, he's got good straight line speed on that route. He's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. They'll go with Hill here on first down. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Facing a second and six from the eight. They go with Edwards' left side. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Third and two, here's Jackson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. Trucks over him. Oh, a second dosage. And they work this out past the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, partners, my old man used to say, make sure you strap up tight if you're going to try to stop one of those big horses out there. As you just saw there, this guy does not go down easily. On first down, Mahomes. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. To throw, it's Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, 
he finds a way to pick up a first down. Now the Holmes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Now it's Mahomes again. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This is moving it a little bit, out and back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here's second and ten. Mahomes now to throw. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Here's second and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Third down and one. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is caught. For the touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. But the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. 
Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love this minute to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're starting to of their offensive counterparts. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. First down is Mahomes. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Mahomes now on first down. That'll be caught by Rice. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And again, it's Mahomes. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. A gain of 16 yards. First down, Kansas City. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Now, that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Play number nine on the drive coming up. And they need nine yards on third down. Mahomes going to throw. And he will take it on. For a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, 15 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Butker now to add the extra point. Four, 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 
and he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. On third down, here's Edwards. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. James now to return it. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second down and six now. Throwing now is Mahomes. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, we got a pause here for an injured player. And as you can see, that's Patrick Mahomes right now who's in some discomfort and everybody kind of holding their breath. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now it's the backup gather. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the finish by a few yards. They'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up four down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. 
And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. On first and ten, it's Jackson. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. The quick feet by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. Effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. It looked like almost some miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Second down and four. Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Now it's Jackson. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have the Ravens first down. He's a wind up getting the yards he needed on fourth and three. Fourth down trying in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Oh, he catches it off the tip. It wasn't even intended for him. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling has been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing is Jackson. That's caught. It's throws. point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. 
And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. Fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two. I'll go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to them. Oh, the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. one setting up for a great finish all tied in the fourth as the kicks away and we see James he will now return it and they'll bring it out to the 25 the Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field and Charles a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out and they punted the football yeah and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here they've got to get going Mahomes now on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And that will bring up second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he powers his way up past the 30. A big play here, crowd on their feet. Third and four. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Look in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have the first down. And that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. First and ten, here's Mahomes. That's going to be caught by Tony. And he'll be out of bounds after a short pickup as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. They'll come up now, second and nine. Mahomes. That one caught by Rice. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Pacheco from the gun, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second down, eight yards to go. Again, it's Pacheco, and they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. A 
Oh, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantlin. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of first down, right near the 24. What a hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Butker's kick here is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down 17-14, 27 seconds to go. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Throwing, Jackson. Incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. They'll try again here, second and 10. Here's Jackson. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get to midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. A big play looming on third down. Jackson. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there? Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout.